Hello everybody, this is Cap of Codeclism, and I would like to welcome you to the third video in my Batch Files tutorial series. So in this video we are going to be talking about the set command. So the set command allows you to create variables in your batch files. So of course the first thing we're going to take a look at here is what are variables. Well if we go back to math class we might remember seeing problems like if x is equal to 5 then 5 plus x equals what? Well of course it would be 10 because we know that x is equal to 5. Well variables in batch files work the exact same way. And the way you create a variable in a batch file is using the set command. So we type in if we type in set here, followed by the name of our variable, which we want to name it numbers, or just number, and we want to set it equal to five. And then we want to echo out number. So if you want to get the value of your variable, you put the name of your variable in between two percentage signs. So let's save it and then run it. And as you can see it echoed out 5 as expected. So what if we went up here and said 5 plus 5? So as you can see it took it literally it saved 5 plus 5. It didn't add 5 and 5 together and then save 10. Well if we wanted it to add 5 and 5 together and save 10 we would have to use something called a switch. So a switch basically modifies the behavior of a command. So in this case we want it to do arithmetic so we're going to use the switch A and as you can see switches are preceded by a forward slash so let's save it and then run it and as you can see now we have our desired result of 10 so another great thing you can do with variables is get user input so let's do set here and we want to use another switch this time we want to use the P switch and then whatever we want to name our variable we'll just say input equals and after the equals we want to put whatever we want to uh, print out to the you know command prompt to prompt the user to input something. So let's say enter a value. And then let's echo out our input variable. Save it and run it. Alright, it says enter value, so I'm going to enter in 20 and hit enter and it echoed back 20 to me which is what we wanted to happen so that's how you get user input in your batch files if you want user input uh, something else to note about variables is that by default all of your variables are global so what that means is that you can access these variables in anywhere in your batch file and other batch files that are running within your session. This also means that if you happen to name one of your variables the same name as an already existing system variable, then it will overwrite that system variable. So the good news is is that it will only overwrite it for the duration of your session. So after your batch file is done executing, that variable will revert back to what it was. So 
we'll do a little example here and say set home drive which is a system variable equal to D and then we will echo out home drive so let's save it well actually here just show you guys what it was before let's just echo out home drive up here as well so let's run it and as you can see the original value for home drive was C but then we overwrote that and made it D now the good news is as I said it only applies to your session or for the duration of your session so if we go in here and echo out home drive as you can see it is now C again so this is also a good way to see if there are already you know system variables that have the name of what whatever you want to name your variable you can just go to the command prompt and type in echo and put whatever you want to name something you know in between these two percentage signs and if it's not taken it will just echo out you know exactly what you put in as in this case this means that something is open if not on the other hand like we saw up here it echoes out the value so the way to prevent this from happening is to make a local variable so the way you do that is before you declare your variables you say set local and then we'll come down here and say end local and echo out home drive again and then we'll run it oh there's an issue here oh yeah sorry about that so as you can see now we didn't overwrite home drive because it only well if we access home drive outside of our set local area because in between this the set local and end local home drive is going to be equal to D but as soon as we go outside of that scope or outside of these two identifiers here set local and end local and we try to access home drive it will appear as C so that's how you can kind of you know still use that variable name if you really want to and yet still <clears throat> still have access to the original value of that system variable for your session so I'd say that's a good place to stop for uh, this tutorial if you guys like this video please uh, like and subscribe you can also follow us on Twitter to keep up to date on when we post these videos and I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video